image download and permalinks. What this allows us to do is place hyperlinks both on the thumbnail grid or in the image captions that allow the user to download uh, renditions of your image or copy a uh, web address that points to a specific image and we call that a permalink um, and that they can use the address to paste into email messages or to paste into their browser so that at any time they can return to that specific image in your gallery. So the way this works and by default it's set to no links um, the first thing we have is a checkbox for display caption and that's a duplicate of this checkbox here in the high slide captions control group and it's there so that if you have the captions disabled as a part of your design and then you scroll down and you decide that you want to use the image download and permalinks features uh, you don't have to go searching for that controller again to turn them back on it's just right here for your convenience so we turn the captions back on and then we can choose what we want to show so by default there's nothing showing there are no links uh, but we can open this up and we can choose to put in only an image download link or only a permalink or we can choose to insert both the image download and permalinks and for this demonstration I'm going to do that so when we do that we get uh, links here in the caption on a separate line from the caption itself and then we have color controls for the caption text uh, which again is duplicated from above and hyperlink colors so that we can set the color for these hyperlinks um, you're going to be able to set both the color of the inactive link and also the color on hover so you can see that when I mouse over those links they turn black so the way that these work uh, first is the downloadable images and here you specify a location uh, relative to the root of your gallery where people are going to be able to download those images from so by default it's set to photos which means that when people use the download image link the image they're going to be referencing is going to be the same image they're looking at here in the slideshow um, if you wanted to for example provide high resolution downloads in your gallery you can do that too the way that I would do that would be to create a folder, well name a folder called high res slash and you have to have the trailing slash on the end of this folder name that's very important um, so I would do that and then I would jump over to the library module and I would export my images uh, with whatever high res settings I would want to use so maybe I would do JPEGs at 100 percent um, sRGB is for screen viewing but if I'm providing high-res downloads maybe I'm doing that for print and I would want to switch this to Adobe RGB um, I would not want to resize the images because I'm providing high-res so I'm gonna let them go with their original size and they're gonna be sharpened for glossy paper and then hit export and I would export those to a folder called high-res I'm sorry you put that in first then you hit export um, and then after I exported my web gallery I would uh, put that high res folder inside my gallery folder um, and that will allow the download links to reference them at this location in the high res folder so if you do want to supply those high res downloads you do have to export them separately the gallery is not going to do that for you um, for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and set that back to photos. Um, for the download link text, you can see here that it says download image. Um, maybe you'd want to say download high res image. So you can change uh, the label for that hyperlink and make that say whatever you want. Um, if you wanted to show the download uh, button on the thumbnail grid rather than just in the captions you can go ahead and enable that checkbox and that will put a download icon here on the grid you've got several options for the icon well two actually you've got a disk and then you've got this picture save icon so there's a little bit of choice there uh, in, in what you can do with that 
Um, and if you want to have it on the grid, but not in the captions, you just go up here and you set that to no links or only to a permalink. And so now we have that download link on the grid, but not in our caption. Um, and you can also set it so that the, uh, the link will open in the same window, or if you hit this checkbox, now when they click this link, it'll open up that image in a new window where it can be saved easily. Um, so if this is disabled, the best thing for them to do would be to right click and save that image. Uh, that way they're not leaving your gallery. Whereas this, you get around it. By opening the image in a new window, they can save the image, close that window, and your gallery is still there. With the permalinks, it's a little easier. Again, you can change the text label for that hyperlink, and you can show uh, the link on the grid itself. You can see there's a little chain link there now, and we have two different options for the icon representation on the grid. So people can right-click that and copy the target link, and then later they can paste that link into their browser or into an email message in order to uh, load up the gallery. And what will happen is that the, that link will lead back to the same gallery page, but when the page loads, it will open up whatever link or whatever image they've copied the link for.